Good morning, fourth grade. This is your work for April, uh, for April 21st, Tuesday, April 21st for math. All right, so go with me if you can to lesson 94. We're gonna talk about two-step word problems, two-step uh, word problems. We have practiced two-step uh, word problems that involve finding total costs, including tax. If you can uh, remember back to those uh, few lessons, we talked about the two-step two uh, two word problems when we uh, talked about taxes and change back. Starting with this lesson, we will practice other kinds of two-step problems. Writing down the given information and using problem-solving strategies is often helpful in solving these problems. So let's look at example one. I've done example one on the board here. Or, oh, actually, I wrote it on the board here. Let's read the problem together. Ready, fourth grade? Jim is five years older than Allie. Allie is two years younger than Bianca, or Blanca, sorry, I think I put Bianca here. Blanca, Blanca is nine years old. How old is Jim? So we're first gonna use two steps to solve this problem. First, we're gonna use Bianca's, uh, Blanca's age to find, uh, to find Allie's age. Then we're gonna use Allie's age to calculate Jim's age. So we know that Bianca is nine years old, right? All right, her name is Blanca. Blanca is nine, and um, Ali, or Ali, is two. So we need to solve this. We're gonna subtract first. Uh, nine minus two first is what? It's seven. So we know that Blanca is seven years older than Ali. Um, and then we're gonna try to find out what Jim is. Jim is five years older than Ali. So we're gonna do seven plus Five years. Seven plus five is 12. So the question was asking you, how old is Jim? Did you see how we came up with the answer? He's 12 years old. First, we found out Blanca's, uh, we found out the age difference between Blanca and Ali, and then we went ahead and subtracted that. And then we found that the difference there was going to be added to how much the information was given there, how many years older Jim was than Ali, and he was five years older. So that makes him a 12 year old boy. All right, let's look at example two. Devon paid for five pounds of apples with a $10 bill. His change was $6. What was the cost for each pound of apples? So the first step we're gonna do here, we're gonna begin by finding out how much all five pounds of apples cost. All right, so um, if Javon paid for the apples with a $10 bill and received back, received six back in change, okay, uh, that means the cost for those apples was $4 for a pound of apple. All right, okay, so he paid $4 for a cost of five, oh, sorry, uh, for five pounds of apples. I, did, I put just pounds here. Uh, $4 for five pounds. All right, so that's the first thing we see here. That's a cost. Now to find the cost of each pound of apples, we divide, we're gonna see, now this is just a cost of, of uh, five pounds. All right, we wanna find out how much a pound is worth. So we're gonna take this and divide, we're gonna divide it four, or sorry, $5 by five, uh, by four, sorry. So $5 divided by four, five divided by four is one, one times four is four. Bring down your 10 here. 10 divided by four is two, two times uh, four is eight. Bring down your zero here. 20 divided by four is five. And uh, five times four is 20, and I'm left with zero. However, I must put my decimal where? Right here. Very good. So the cost for one pound of apples is $1.25 for each pound of apple. So, uh, oh, sorry, I think I divided wrong here. I divided five by, oh, I divided the wrong amount. All right, let me restart here, all right? Forgive my pregnancy right here. Although that was an accurate and probably not, I mean, not accurate, although it was a good answer, what we have to do is we have to take uh, four dollars, sorry, and divide that by uh, divide that by five. Okay, again, sorry. All right, let's take let's do this. Okay, uh, four divided by five. You cannot do that. So let's take forty divided by five. Okay, we'll put zero here because we didn't put anything here in our decimal. 
is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 minus 40 is 0. Bring down the 0. 0 divided by 5 is 0. So the cost for each pound of apples was 80 cents. All right, sorry for that first mistake. Although it was a good answer, but nonetheless, wrong answer. All righty, we're going to skip example three, but note there in example three that you also have two, step, two, two, uh, uh, two steps to pro uh, solving that problem. One of the foods that Marabella feeds her rabbit is two ounces of lettuce each day. In how many days does her rabbit eat a pound of lettuce? How many pounds of lettuce does a rabbit eat in four months? So a pound is 16 ounces. We have to note there, we have to know our measurements and uh, know, uh, know the units of measurements as well. At two ounces per day, the, the rabbit eats a pound of food every eight days. Okay, so 16 divided by two, she eats, uh, uh, let's see. Right, so every eight days, she eats that amount. A month is about 30 days, so four months is four times 30 which makes that 120 and 120 divided by eight, she eats about 15 pounds of lettuce in four months. All right, let's look at example four. Point B represents which number? Um, let me read here. Point B re represents which number on this number line? So sometimes two-step problems are not word problems. We can solve problems like this with two or three steps of arithmetic. So step one is to subtract 200 minus 100. So they're asking you here, point B represents which number on this number line? We're gonna solve what point B is here. Um, so 200, let's see here, between the two, A and C, uh, uh, point A and C, there's, it's 200 minus 100. We're gonna solve the difference there, that is 100. Okay, now that we have that, there's four lines between A and C, one, two, three, four, okay, four tick marks. Okay, so the distance is divided into four segments or four tick marks. By dividing 100 by four, we find that each segment is actually 25. That means this is 125, this is 125, uh, sorry. This is 25, 25 more, 25 more, and then 25 here. So 100 divided by four is 25, all right? So this point means that it won't be 100, it's gonna be what? 125, keep going, 150, 175. So the answer would be, Point B would be 175. Since point B is on one segment from point C, we can check the answer by counting back 25, uh, 25 from 200, which, which re would result in 175. Okay, example five here. If Y equals 2X plus one, then what is Y when X equals three? All right, the equation Y equals 2X plus one shows us how to find the number that y equals when we know that the number x, uh, what the number x equals. So they've already told us what x is. What's x? They said if y equals 2x plus 1, then what is y when x is 3? We know that x right here is 3. And anytime we have a number next to a variable here or a letter, that means that we have to multiply. So we're going to multiply here. Look at the answer here. So basically what this is saying is y equals 2 times 3 plus 1. What's two times three? Two times three is six, okay? So that's the answer for that, two X, all right? Now let's add that together. Once I have that in, I can add whatever is outside of the parentheses to that, okay? Y equals six plus one. What's six plus one? Very good, it's seven. So that means that Y is seven. Y is seven. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and um, if you can't do lesson practice letters A through F on your uh, lesson practice form, on your written practice form, and then also do written practice one through three. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.